Hey guys, here is Piotr from The Viewer and in this short video I want to show you how you can add 6 degrees of freedom in your 360 content using something that's called a depth map. So in our editor you have the possibility to add depth map only if the multi-resolution is enabled. Uh, this is explained in another video in our tutorial, but uh, if this is enabled, as you can see on the left hand side you have the button called add depth map. So very simple you just click on the button uh, you, you click on it again then you have the possibility to choose your depth map of course it's very important that the depth map is actually showing exactly the same view just like your original panorama okay so my depth map has been added as you can see I, I see it here on the list below so this is the main panorama and underneath you will always have a depth map mine is actually called a depth map so it's easier so now we want to add uh, this whole transition. So we double click on the screen. We choose this guy. So this is a depth map transparent spot. You select it, you can add, it, add a name, but you don't have to. And for the moment you can ignore this option. You just, just click okay. Now here you have to draw an area by clicking so this will be the the transparent area not being seen to your end user where he will be simply clicking and then once when the system will recognize a click in this area we will take you to another location okay so let's go back to the settings of this uh, transition spot so i'll choose the destination in my case it will be panorama number 10. here you can play a little bit with with different types of transition i'm not going to do it here now the fun part. So here you have a couple of values. Those values are explaining, actually, those values are responsible for the, the direction of the transition. It's very simple, you can play with them. So what you can do is you can select, as you can see, the offset X is here. So I'm changing this guy. I'm moving left and right, so I'll change it. Z, okay, this is the correct one. So I'll set it back to zero. And if it's going plus, I have this kind of like a zoom in effect. Then blend time, transition time, you can play with all those options. I'm not going to do it just to make this video quicker, shorter, sorry. And OK. And that's it. Now you can actually preview. You can, you can see it directly in the editor how it's going to behave by clicking on this little icon. Boom. This is our transition. So yeah that's exactly how you do those transitions of course you have to play with the options a little bit longer than i did but you guys are super talented so i'm 100 percent confident that you will find the right values uh, if you have any questions or even complaints about the functionality you would like to explore with us how to use it better leave a comment or just go to theviewer.co and use the chat and simply talk to us or send us an email at help at theviewer.co. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Bye.